If you spend any time waiting on checkout lines in the uh, supermarket, you've probably seen my next guest's work. He is a writer for this newspaper right here. Yep, it's this baby. It's The Sun. And he has reported on stories such as the three-month-old baby who revealed that he was John Wayne reincarnated, the man who exploded after drinking 168 cans of beer in one sitting. These and many other stories. Please welcome Richard Dominic. Richard. Now, this is, uh, what, what kind of circulation do you have? How many people buy this, do you suppose? Oh, it's a weekly magazine, uh, close to 600,000 a week. 600,000 a week, and is that, that's pretty good, I guess, for a uh, publication. Oh, yeah, for like a weekly it. publication. Yeah. Uh, 59 cents is the price. Right. And, and who, who buys it? Who are the folks who read this magazine? Oh, it's a, a big, sir, it's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, housewives. About 600,000? About 600,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, women in supermarkets, uh -huh. uh, it's big with college students. College kids buy it, why? As a, as a goof? Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. Uh, they get a kick out of but it. But it's not intended as a goof, is it? Oh, no, they're true stories. <laughs> and, and you take it seriously? Oh, sure. And, and you, not only do you write, you write the headlines, you also do some reporting, as we mentioned. Right, sure. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just go through some of these newspapers, sure. and you tell me about them, and, and uh, we'll see what we can uh, learn from these. All right, this first one right here. It's an article about John Wayne. Let me get the clips off of that. Doctors are stunned as baby speaks and reveals, I'm John Wayne. <laughs> right there. That's it, yeah. Have a, there it is. A three-month-old baby. There's the baby. <laughs> Shocked the world by revealing in a loud... Let me see the rest of it. Clear voice, I'm John Wayne. All right. Now... This is not true. Oh, yes, it is. This is true. In fact, I, I've met the baby. I went. You met the baby. I where where was the child born? Uh, the child was born in England, in outside England. of Manchester. Right. You traveled to Manchester. Yes. Visited with the baby. Visited three the baby. months old, the baby speaks. Yes. When I, when I saw the baby, it was about three and a half months. Mm -hmm. And what did the baby say? The baby had spoken John Wayne's voice. <laughs> Baby asked if uh, I saw True Grit. <laughs> now you're kidding about this, no. aren't you? No. The baby said, I'm John Wayne. I'm John Wayne. Did you see True Grit? <laughs> A you... three month old baby. Yes, yeah, so did you see True Grit? Did you think I deserved the Oscar? Was the exact thing the baby said. His, his mouth moved, and out of his mouth came John Wayne's voice. Yes. Now, why didn't we see this story in the Washington Post? Probably because the Washington Post wouldn't send anybody out there to, invest to investigate it, thinking it is some sort of a hoax. That's why... But babies don't talk at three... I mean, let alone... Normal all right, I'm, I'm give, it may be John Wayne. I'll give you that. Okay. <laughs> you can have that one. Okay. But three months, babies don't talk at three months. Do they? Right. Do babies talk at three months? No. no. Well, you see, this is how we investigated the story. Psychics believe that when a baby is born, they are fully aware of their past life. Mm -hmm. And by the time they reach maybe six, seven months, it starts to fade away. They become a new person. Okay. If the identity is a strong one like John Wayne... Let's go on. Okay. By the way, what are you doing Monday night? Uh, watching Don <laughs> Ewing. Here we have another one, another one dealing with uh, John Wayne. John Wayne's ghost haunts the Alamo. His spirit fights on for American ideals. Now, yes. tell me about this. The Alamo in uh, mm. San Antonio? Is that where yes, it is? Yes, John yeah. Wayne's ghost is haunting the Alamo. You've seen it? No, no. But I did send my wife Eileen to investigate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your wife Eileen went down to the Alamo. And she saw the ghost. She did see the ghost. All right, we'll talk about uh, Eileen's findings after we do a commercial here. We'll be right back. <laughs> So your wife 
wife Eileen's at the Alamo, she sees what? What does she see? Uh, John Wayne in a coon skin hat, uh -huh. and a fringe suede jacket, mm -hmm. and a rifle. Yeah. And now, how do you hear about these things? Oh, people call me. They call the Sun. Mm -hmm. uh, they contact. Do many of them turn out to be hoaxes? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. I had not a, like these things, which oh, are, not like no, that. no, these are all on the level here. Yeah. Uh, all right, we have another one. Psychic barber cuts hair without scissors. <laughs> now, how did, did uh, you follow this one up? Yeah, I got a haircut from him. Uh huh. How did he do that? He sits you in the chair and he rubs his hand over your head, right. and your hair cuts out in layers. He, it's, so it's a layered cut. That's a layered cut. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, school teacher fired for eating desk. She was suffering from a disease called pica, which makes an individual eat certain things. We had one about a lady who just could eat mice. And this lady, she eats wood, she ate the desk in front of the class and the principal came in and she was mm -hmm. fired. Yeah. Uh, now do you ever exaggerate any of this stuff? Oh no. Of course, we're, we're really not under oath here, are we? Uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, a woman gave birth in class. And she, oh, no, this is a good one. Elvis seen aboard UFO. Elvis. Now, how, how do you run this one down? Okay, well, this is simple. Elvis... This one's simple. Oh, yeah. In a matter of a week, about nine or ten people from across the United States spotted Elvis in the UFO. Mm -hmm. So there no, 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 is... Wait a minute, let me stop you right there. Nine or ten people spotted Elvis, Elvis. in the UFO. Right. Well, this is what There's 240 on. million people in this country. Right. Well, that's not a very good percentage. Right, but nine did. Is... <laughs> you want to, I, can't make, I can't make it more, it was only nine. All right, these nine people... Living all across the country, various yes, parts? various parts of the country. Um, was, well, apparently what's going on is people believe that Elvis was tired of his fans, tired of everybody wanting to touch him, get his autograph, and he decided that he, was, he became very psychic. He wanted to contact... He decided to become psychic. Yeah, he, the way he did karate, he did his psychic abilities. He learned it. Yeah. He then set up a UFO airstrip, and the UFO came down and took him away. Well, now that you explain it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, uh, we'll be right back here. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's the Sounds Orchestral, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Richard, thanks for being here, for helping us uh, clear some of these up for ourselves. Here's an interesting one. Man marries himself, and now he's pregnant. Uh, Richard Dominic, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to meet you. Come back again, sir. Welcome back. Uh, our next guest, who needs a newspaper? Uh, who needs stories about the Iran-Contra hearings when you can read about stuff like this? Lightning turns a woman into a man. <laughs> well, our next guest is the guy who actually writes these headlines. Folks, from the sun, not the newspaper, the planet. That's right. <laughs> Please welcome Richard Dominic. Richard, uh... Hi, Richard. Nice to see you again. How are you? You know, I was, I was uh, making a joke about uh, the, the paper, the planet, not the paper. First of all, the sun's not a planet anyway, is it? No, it's not. It's a big star, isn't yes. that what they call it? Yeah. But where exactly do we publish the sun, and who gets to read this stuff? Uh, it's published out of Florida, uh -huh. and uh, it's sold throughout the nation. Uh -huh. in and Canada, what, what, is the, what is the circulation? Uh, about 600,000 does, does a it week. Does it seem to sell more here in the United States or more in Europe? Uh, no, I, I guess here. More here. More here. Uh -huh. do, do people have subscriptions to it? Can you get this mailed to your home? Uh, you can get it mailed to your home. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and how is this regarded uh, with other tabloids? How do you compare this to, like, The Inquirer or uh, U.S. News and World Report? How would... 
<laughs> Where would it be in that spectrum? Uh, about the middle. All right. <laughs> you write the headlines. Yes. And you can swear to me, unequivocally, that everything in here is true. Absolutely true. A hundred percent true. hundred percent. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. All right. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of these. Yeah. I guess these are recent stories that you have personally tracked down and written. That I investigated. If, if not, the, not the article, at least the headline, and you've done some investigation. Right. All right. What does this one say right here? Get a nice tight shot of this. This story here. Toaster is possessed by the devil. <laughs> Satan burns every slice with a sign. Yes. Where did this happen? In Canada. Mm -hmm. What part of Canada? Uh, up by Michigan. Up by Michigan. Uh, what happened do you, here? Do you have a name of a town, Richard? Yeah, it's one of the small villages out there. Small village. Yeah. All right. Where they have no names for towns. Yes. All right. you, how did you hear about this? Well, we have contacts in, uh, all over the country and all over the world, mm -hmm. and anything strange like this happens, we get a call. Mm -hmm. And I went and investigated. Mm -hmm. And what did you find? A Toaster possessed by the devil. How do you know it's possessed by the devil? Well, when I went there, I first investigated. I checked to see if there was any hidden microphones or wires or anything right. like that. And there wasn't. Right. And uh, first they put in a piece of toast and it came out with a sort of a pentagram, I think it's called. Yeah. And uh, then the uh, toaster spoke. And <laughs> Uh, what, what did it say? Would you like butter or jelly? That kind of thing? No, it was... No, it spoke in... Uh, the devil spoke through the toaster. What did it say? Uh, it, it just basically told me to go to hell. <laughs> now, you, you don't for a second believe that. Well, there was no hidden microphone. No, like no, that. no, no, no. Nobody said anything. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, toaster did. The to <laughs> it's, uh, we work with a priest. Uh, oh, of course and, you work with a priest. Huh? And uh, performed an exorcism on the toaster. Uh-huh. And then it was fine. He specializes in possessed appliances. <laughs> it, it was probably just one of those defective GE models, you know? It was just... Um, now, see, I know that that's not true. No, and, it is. And you must know that that's not true. But it is true. Well, then you're goofy. <laughs> Our next item. Here we go. Two, Two-headed man sings in stereo. Dual domed wonder set to tackle show business world. Yeah, he'll be touring Europe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now this, tell me about this. You got a call. Where, where in, where in Europe did this, this happen in Poland? Warsaw, Poland, Poland right? right? Okay. And uh, we got a call about a two-headed man mm -hmm. and um, that was singing and wanted to go on tour and we investigated mm -hmm. and uh, He's going to go on tour. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you about the, uh, I guess this is uh, an untouched photograph here, right? <laughs> no, what's going on here is he wants to sort of have a big uh, opening, and he doesn't want anybody to see how he looks until he actually appears. Well, he, lo he looks great in a turtleneck. I got to tell you, I don't know. <sighs> Two head. Two headed man. Let's skip that one. That's even a little strange for us. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, this one I might... I think I can believe this one. 800-pound honeymoon couple crashes through hotel floor. I can, I can actually believe that that yeah, might happen. happen. Where, where, did it, where did it happen? That happened in Yugoslavia. 
A lot of these things seem to happen out of town, don't they? They doesn't seem much to be going on in Queens with possessed toasters. Or, uh, okay, what do we have here? Circus midget flushed down toilet. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he was hiding in the toilet. He was going to surprise the bearded lady at mm -hmm. the carnival. Yeah. And she didn't know he was in there, and she flushed yeah. the toilet. I just love that circus humor. Those kids carry on like that. Uh, oh, now, this, now this, some of this stuff is really pretty grisly, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, this is uh, not so much that way. All right. Tell me all about this one, Richard. This is a woman... I was Bigfoot's love slave. Yeah, this is a woman who was on vacation. She's from Germany. She was visiting Canada. Mm -hmm. Again, and... Germany, Canada. Right. 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 And Bigfoot came and I took know. her away. And they've been dating. Okay, great. Uh, Richard, gee, it's nice to see you. Uh, have, a, have a good summer, and thanks okay. for your time. You. Richard Dominic from The Sun. I'll see you right back. Thank you very much. You live in Seattle, is that right? Yes. How long have you lived in Seattle? Eight years. You know, that's where uh, Bridget is going when she gets married. She's going to live in Seattle. Well, she'll enjoy it there. It's a lovely city. It's the Emerald City, isn't it? It's the Emerald City. When did you leave Northern California? Uh, tax problems, Dave. Yeah. I said when, though, Steve, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for a little too much information. Yeah, uh, too much. Um, um, a long time ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nice to see you. I went to Oregon, then to Seattle, and I'll probably end up in Alaska. <laughs> Working your way north. Yeah. Uh, if you spend any time in the checkout lines at the uh, supermarket, you've probably read something by our next guest. As investigative reporter for this newspaper, The Sun, this, this one right here, uh, he has reported such stories as Fire Eater roasts assistant alive when he belches, <laughs> and Nun says God speaks to her through parrot. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Richard Dominic. Richard, are you back there? Hi, Richard. Good to see you. Where, where is this? Uh, where, where is the Sun uh, published? I know we have this conversation every time you're here. Yeah, it comes out of Florida. Florida, and what is the circulation? About six hundred thousand. And and it's mostly through uh, supermarkets, or people actually subscribe. Right. Mm -hmm. And, it, and it's, it's worldwide. It does go worldwide. Yes, yeah, worldwide. You buy it at supermarkets, and uh -huh. people can subscribe. I see. And, and how long have you worked for them? Five years. Uh -huh. and, and your department is what, fiction? Uh, no, true stories. True stories. Is, now, is there anything in here? Because we know, now uh, we just have your word that it's true. I'm guessing none of this is true. But is there any truth in any story in any publication uh, here? A hundred percent all truth. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. His guarantee, it's a hundred percent all true. But doesn't, it doesn't have to be true if you print it? Doesn't it have to be true? Well, it has it? to be true if you print it, yes. <laughs> Isn't that like the Third Amendment? If you print it, it has yes, to be true? That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, let's just take a look at some of these and you tell them what they are. This one says, Haunted Elvis Lamp Sings Burning Love. <laughs> that, there's your name right there. That's your right. story. You see, what happened here is that woman, her name, I believe, was Candy LaFlair. Right, she, Candy uh, LaFlair above. Right. What an Elvis Lamp at a garage sale in Texas for 10 bucks. And she brought it home and it started to sing uh -huh. Burning Love. Yeah, each night gave her a personal con con a concert just like Elvis did right. when he was she, alive. She'd turn out the lights, go to sleep, and she'd hear Elvis singing. Mm -hmm. uh, so she called the son, I went over there to see her, mm -hmm. and I heard the lamp sing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it was singing Burning Love? I was singing Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> It was not. You're nuts. And, and what did you pay that woman for her story? Uh, I mean, she gets nothing for it. <laughs> and what did you get for it? Well, I just get my salary. Uh -huh. Which is what? What are you making for this crap? Uh, a pretty good buck. I would guess so. Uh, our next story, uh, wait a minute. No, let's see. Our next story, woman takes wrong turn and drives straight to hell. Yeah, she was lost on a country road, and... Uh, I've seen that exit on the New Jersey Turnpike, I think. Right. Yeah. 
And hell, four miles. <laughs> And she was lost on a dirt road, and she kept driving and driving, and suddenly... Oh, yeah, so she was paralyzed with fear. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Yeah. yeah. So what happened? Well, she claims that uh, she drove right into hell, and there was fire, <laughs> and the devil came up and knocked on her door. Uh-huh. And, and she... what, it offered to call the AAA, or what? What did he do? <laughs> this one, we're not, we're not gonna do that one. Okay, here, on the same topic... Here we go. Woman claims devil lives in her microwave oven. Yes, I, I, she called the sun office and said that... Uh, the sun office. What is that, a trailer somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> it's called the sun office. Called the office and, and what? And she said my microwave is possessed by the devil. Mm -hmm. So we went to look at it, and the devil's voice was coming out of the microwave. Uh. It didn't sound anything like the Elvis lamp, did it? No, not at all. And what, what did the devil say? Well, the devil just was angry that she kept using the microwave while he was possessing it. Yeah, I see. And so he would curse at her and yell and yeah. things like that. Um, how do you sleep? Uh, okay, let's do this one. Farmer sprouts feathers. Oh, I see, after he's bitten by a sick chicken right there. Yeah, the chicken got into some toxic waste and uh, bit him, and he started to grow feathers. Grow feathers on what part of his body? On his entire body. On his entire body. Right. Uh huh. And I, before I came on the show, I thought I'd follow that one up, and the, they say he's grown a beak, uh -huh. so I'm not sure. <laughs> and and entertaining at baseball games, I understand. Yeah. This one I don't want to get into. All right, you're, now, you're going to be sorry, but it was your idea, and I'm sorry already. Gassy elephant blows her trainer through a wall. You know, I, I, I saw this on the front page of the Washington Post a couple of weeks ago. The same story. What's the deal here? Well, the... Uh Elephant liked to eat some eat chili, and uh, they were selling chili at the carnival the elephant was at. It's a deadly combination, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and the trainer broke most of the bones in his body. No, he didn't. So, yeah. Broke most of the bones in yeah. his body. And how's the elephant? Elephant's fine. Elephant is fine. Well, uh, at least it has a happy ending. Well, Richard, thank you very much. It's good to see you again. Have a safe trip back to Florida. This is Dominic. Uh, we'll be right back. Later. We're all done, folks. I want to thank uh, Richard Dominic and, of course, Steve Miller. You sounded great, Steve. Thanks for being here. And uh, Bob Costas, the star of uh, Later, right after this show. Tomorrow, Bob Starlock will be here. And uh, Melanie Marin from 30 something. Good night, everybody. Plenty of fun, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Uh, our next guest, a uh, there's Charlie. He's making house calls. What a sweet dog. That's a, an English setter, you know. Yeah. Uh, our next. Hi, Charlie. Our next guest is a uh, freelance <laughs> investigative reporter, uh, many of whose stories appear in the tabloid The Sun. Oh, I have a copy of The Sun here. Are we going to have time for Charlie to eat bubbles, Morty, or not? For the closing. All right. Here's the magazine. Uh, please welcome back to this program, Richard Dominic. You know, you're, you're, in, you're in a perilous situation because the audience really would rather See, watch the dog eat bubbles. Yeah, I know. Okay, so now you, you report for this uh, magazine, The Sun. It's published where? Out of Florida. Florida? And it's, uh, what's the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, enrollment? The, what do you call it? The uh, distribution? The uh, 600, uh, circulation? 600,000. Okay. All right, let's get right to it. Tell us all about this one. This one says, uh, what is that? Uh, fire eater sneezes, burns down carnival. <laughs> 
Yeah, he had appeared that night and he had a very bad cold. Uh -huh. And he was eating fire and he couldn't stop sneezing. And it shot out about 20 feet and uh -huh. burned down the whole tent. And uh -huh. <laughs> at, at a loss of what, several million dollars? Uh, about a thousand. A thousand dollars. So it really was quite was an impressive a, carnival. Yeah, it was a yeah. small carnival. All right. And you, you saw this? You, uh... No, that I, I got from somebody who was there. Somebody phoned it in. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, now this is not true. I know this, I know this is for a fact is not true. This is an old joke. Hungry elephant uh, kills a clown dressed as a giant peanut. Uh, no, actually it is true. He was dressed as a peanut and the elephant, who was not fed because part of the act was they wanted him hungry, uh -huh. he picked up the clown and he cracked the shell and he just ate the guy. No, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, so elephants aren't, elephants aren't carnivores, are they? Well, he thought it was a peanut, uh -huh. so he just took it. And, and again, you saw, you saw this happen? Yeah. Is Charlie ready with the bubbles? <laughs> Charlie out here. <laughs> this, if the dog comes out and eats bubbles and you get bumped for that, that's got to be a new that's low scary. for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? This is, uh, okay. Fat female swimmer is harpooned by whalers. <laughs> oh, but apparently she's okay. Yeah. It was uh, good. To, yeah, see, it only grazed her on yeah, the side. Yeah, that's right. Those yeah. harpoon wounds aren't as dangerous as we yeah. used to think. No, not at all. Where, where did this take place? Well, that was in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Tokyo? Yeah. And? Well, she was swimming. She was about 500 pounds. And she had a mouthful of water, which she blew out. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning on the bubble machine now. A man wakes from coma after spending two years in heaven. Yeah, he, uh, he, he left his body and he went to heaven and reported on it and he, uh -huh. he came back. All right. Did you interview him personally? Yes, I did. And, and what did he have to say? He said that it's a, it, it was nice. He said it was... It was nice. <laughs> he spent two, two years in heaven and it was nice. Yeah. Should I eat the bubble? No, don't eat the bubble. <laughs> I think that's how it's described in the Bible, isn't yes. it? <laughs> heaven, nice, nice. <laughs> Uh, is this one all right? That's a sad one. Well, we don't want to get the sad one. Uh, Titanic survivor has been afloat for 76 years. <laughs> and they just found him a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and and would, you, would you call this a, a shocking discovery? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's I see. Well, oh, look there, right there. Sure, it's shocking discovery. <laughs> Uh, and what did he have to say for himself? Well, he forgot how to talk because he's been in, on the water for 76 years. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He must have had a wonderful tan. Yeah, he had a great yeah. tan. Okay, Richard, it's always a pleasure always to have you. Good. Charlie, come here. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Come on. How about, what are we doing? All right, got to do a commercial. Get, get Charlie out here. Oh, okay, great. And we'll uh, try and get Charlie to eat bubbles after the commercial. Okay, here it is, Richard. If this works, bubble-eating dog floats in midair. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, give it a try, buddy. Here we go. There's bubbles. Try a bubble. Come on, look. Look. Come on. Charlie. Charlie. Come on, here. Look. You were... Look, there's one right there. It's a bubble, Charlie. 